Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions, my name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something called Impressive Dog by developer Make Babies and the premise behind this one is that you are an adorable puppy in a pet shop and you've got to outperform the other puppies to attract the attentions of a girl who might want to adopt you and the way that this sort of plays out is something like a dog themed Tony Hawk game and I kind of love the premise here. Uh, this was suggested to me on Twitter and I just, I saw the video of it, I saw the trailer and it was just hilarious so I figured let's give it a run. I might be terrible at it, in fact very likely that I will be, but I do want to at least show you that this is a game that exists and one that is quite hilarious and awesome. So let's start it out. Here we go. Use AutoCam. Good if you're using a controller or playing on the keyboard only. I'm gonna actually be using a controller for this because why not? So yes, let's use AutoCam. So here's our setup. I want all the dogs! No! You only get one! All right, it's a simple setup. Mom and a little girl come in for a puppy. Puppy is me. And what we need to do is learn what the moves are. There's actually a surprisingly complex number of different movements that we can perform here. Uh, and as you can see, they'll actually be combined together to form new things like high-fiving, standing, playing dead. Uh, so you need to learn the fundamentals and then you need to learn the advanced stuff because occasionally the little girl will actually call out to you uh, and ask you to do a certain trick. And if you don't know what it is, well, you're not going to get the point bonus. In fact, you might even get a point penalty. So, uh, let's just mess around on this run. Let's see. Oh, I gotta play dead. Uh, okay, that's right bumper and B. I actually knew that from the one run that I did before. So I'm gonna do some front flips, uh, see if I can maybe get... Oh, wants to play dead again. Yeah! And how do I do the side roll again? Oh, I sat down like a nice puppy. All I can do is stink in front flips. Uh, stand. I don't know what that is. That's it. I'll just do lots of flips, and I guess she can't not love me then. I don't know why she necessarily expects this little puppy to know all of these tricks when it's just like sitting here, uh, you know, in a big room. <laughs> I guess all it has to do to entertain itself is just do tricks by itself, but I don't know. High five! I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, I did it! I actually just hit like all the buttons and that actually worked out. That was a scarily good backflip. I really like the commentary that happens along with things too, where it's like telling you that you're scum if you mess up. Stand. Oh, I still don't know what... Oh, I got it right! It's left bumper and B. I don't know why I was able to do that. Maybe this is gonna be my best run of all time. I might even get adopted. Uh, high five. I don't... Oh, I did that again! I'm just getting them randomly, with good luck. And I think my score actually might be substantial this time, although I haven't actually... Oh, I didn't listen. I'm the worst. Yeah, it was right bumper and X, not left bumper. Uh, I kind of want to get up on that little pedestal up there, but I don't see that happening in my future. I just really want to out-trick that corgi, otherwise I'm not going to get adopted. So let's uh, see, our score is 4,090 points, giving you a C rank. That's better than my first run where I got an E rank. And we're going to press E and see how our life turned out. I won! That's so cute. Oh my goodness, so we got adopted. Uh... I guess the Corgi didn't, so I hope the Corgi learned some tricks as well. Uh, let's do one more run here. I want to see if I can show you what happens if I don't get adopted, or if I'm just terrible at things. Oh, I can go through these rings too, can I? Yeah! Look at those advanced maneuvers. Can I act like a show dog and go between them too? No, I guess that doesn't work. I could just keep going back and forth through the rings. I guess that probably wouldn't be very entertaining, would it? Let's, uh, let's do a dash. Wait, high five. Yeah. I wish there was more to go and see and do in this area, or, like, more things that I could do tricks off of. Uh, but, you know, as it stands, it kind of makes sense that we're just in, you know, some little area, a little show area for the little girl to look at. And I really like the animations and the style of this. Like, the puppy is really quite legitimately adorable. I love the fact that it's wearing a bandana. Uh, because, you know, basically every dog that I've ever encountered that wears a bandana is a nice dog. I've never heard of a dog that could be mean with a bandana on. It's just not possible. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's playing dead. The, the animations, too, when you screw up, like when you hit the ground in the middle of a flip, just sort of, like, plays dead and turns over. Dang it, Bobby. Play dead. Oh, can I land up on top of these rings? Oh, yeah, I can. This is the most aerodynamically sound puppy. Like, it will flip and spin at all times, in all directions, and it does not care about reality. I'm actually negative points right now, which is fine. I was actually kind of trying to do that. 
Uh, also, I wanted to dash around a little bit, but I think I can only dash for like a split second before the puppy gets tired. All right, let's see what this does. I think you kind of know, yeah, oh, that's so sad. Well, at least the corgi gets a home. I'm pretty sure that's a corgi anyway. And we lose. This is a really fun game. It's a really cute presentation. It's a great idea. Uh, I would love to see more things finished in this style. Uh, you know, I basically I'm in love with the concept of Tony Hawk score attack games. So if you want to put a different skin on them, I'll probably enjoy them regardless. Uh, you know, given the fact that the animations work, the game is not buggy. Uh, the premise is simple and concise and just reduced down to a concept that is easily expressible to the people playing and doesn't take a lot of time to learn. I guess really the fact that the basics are, you know, run around and jump off of things. And then you also have this other layer, which is memorize the advanced controls. So when the girl calls out to you, you're able to do those, which gives it sort of this like rock band guitar hero style thing where you got to remember certain things, hit them at the right times. And they're generous enough with the time that you have to hit the buttons in so if you screw up you have a little bit of extra time it's not going to be the end of the world and the, the way the score works in general is like it's it's pretty nice it doesn't give you uh, too much pressure to perform although i guess in this case you would have some pressure uh, i could also imagine this would be like if you get an a rank then like you get extra special treats or like it unlocks a special collar or like a new bandana or something i'm sure there's plenty of ways that this could end up uh, you know, microtransactioned out or something, although that is not the way that this developer has chosen to do things. I just, I could always see those avenues for advancement if that's a thing that was desired to be done. Anyway, that was impressive, dog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm impressed by this little dog, and I hope you are too. So go ahead and play it if you'd like. Uh, there's going to be a link to play right in your browser. I think there's also a download link too. I'm going to include all of those in the description. Uh, feel free to also check out my other social media stuff if you'd like. I've got my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Twitch page all in there. You can browse around, see more stuff about me in the series, or if you just want to watch, uh, you know, 750 other episodes of Indie Impressions, you're highly welcome to do that uh, over at Indie-Impressions.com, or just browse around on my YouTube page. There's plenty of links to everything everywhere you go. Uh, but with that, I will leave you for another day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider leaving a like on it, and of course, come back again tomorrow. New episodes of Indie Impressions go up every single day without fail, so I will see you then. And I hope you have a fantastic night, guys. Talk to you later.